What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, Charles from Halt's Boots and I are going to get a little 1v1 session. We're gonna get some technical pieces, um, really working on opening our bodies up and playing lots of passing uh, and just get a little partner session going. So here we go. All right guys, so little boot check for the session. I'm wearing Hypervenom Phantom 3 DFs. As always, 11 pros. 11 pros, hell yeah, let's get after it. Well, as long as you don't, you know, elastic home me and throw it on the channel, then I'll be all right. If I do, if no, I you gotta do, clip it. you have to post it on the your channel. All right, channel. that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Is that a deal? No, that's fine. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'll post it, I'll post it. All right. All right, fam, so warm-ups are obviously very, very important. I don't need to preach to you guys the importance of what a warm-up does for your body, but do make sure you do it. Uh, light stretching, keep it dynamic, little bit of jogging, get the ball okay. moving, pass a little bit before you actually get into the session. That way you're not getting injured or pulling your groin or doing something stupid before the session. Now, the first drill that you're going to see is a V drill. And what it is, is it takes two people to do the V drill and it's very dynamic for the person working. And then of course you have the server. So Charles is serving in this clip. Um, and as you're seeing, you go inside the top cone, outside the top cone, inside the top cone, drop back so he has to play a long ball to me touch around the back cone up through little bounce inside little bounce outside and then you do the same thing going the other way this looks really dynamic and it is very dynamic it's a, good, it's a great way to do a warm-up um, and it's also a really great way to practice different types of turning so as the clips move forward you're going to see different types of touches with the outside foot across with uh, a touch and a rollover and you're going to be able to look at all the different types of touches in that little drill as a warm-up as a way to be moving forwards backwards practice checking and it's a really good way again to make sure that you're getting all your touches in all the fundamental little touches in before getting into some of the more complicated drills. Okay, the next drill is something that I've done very similarly with some of the Stars players, and then I've also done something like this in Australia. Here it looks a little bit different just because we don't have a wall to use, so we used a bench folded over or, or uh, tilted over, I guess, as our wall. And so what you're noticing is we're doing tons of different patterns based on the type of movement that I wanna do. And then it's facing the goal so that every time I finish the drill, I'm opening up, turning with the ball and passing it into one of the corners of the goal, similar to some if I had too many goals uh, in the big goal as opposed to the big goal. It just, again, looks a little bit different, um, but it's the same fundamental drill, which is usually I'm checking into the middle or 
I'm using numbers of each of the cones. So in this case, uh, we started with no numbers and just doing certain patterns. And then in the second iteration, we started using numbers. So my top left, my front left is a one, and then it goes clockwise two, three, four behind me. And I have to check to one of those numbers, and then each number has a different pattern to it that I have to remember. And it's a really cognitively advanced drill. So when you're looking at all the iterations that we do and again i put a ton of examples in here just so you guys get an idea of you can watch it over and over again and you can kind of understand where um, i'm coming from when i can't really explain it over vocal but you're going to have to see it uh, and just make sure that you're really doing the best you can in mixing it up because i think it is really a drill that you can do a million different variations of and it's all game realistic make sure you're checking your shoulder make sure you're checking to the ball um, giving good passes and the server has to really give good passes as well so that's something to keep in mind but you can also use a regular wall you can use mini goals it'll look different for each one of you but this is what it looks like at the field with the equipment that we have Alright, so the final set of drills that we did was simply a 1v1 angled towards the goal. We did the left side coming into the goal uh, in, in this example, and 1v1s is uh, one of, 1v1s are like one of the most important drills for players to do just in general. I think they're especially important for wingers and outside backs. And, and defenders in general to be able to defend 1v1 because at the top level, everyone's technical ability is really good. Everyone's awareness is really good. The 1v1 situations, if you can win your 1v1 battles consistently, that's something that takes your game to the next level and really differentiates you from the rest of the group. And I think that's where practicing 1v1s as much as you can. Sometimes you don't have a partner, but it is when you do, and, and I would say that's one of the things that is uh, the, the the reason, if you were to give a reason of why you would want a partner at training, it would be to do 1v1s because they are so good for you. They're so good for your football. They're so good for your attacking and defending. So always do more 1v1s, very important.
Hold on. I'm recording you now, so now you got extra pressure on you. Damn, not bad. Up the middle. Yeah, how's the session? It's killing me. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is basically the session for now. We're just going to get some two-touch in. Um, again, the focus for today was really on short, sharp touches, uh, first touch out of your body to passing, and then the 1v1s at the end are just great for cardio and great for being a little bit more creative when you're really tired. So that's something to think about. Um, oh, I'm exhausted. Got an upper body lift after this, but uh, we're going to get some two-touch in, and then I'll wrap up the video. All right, guys, that is it for the video. As I mentioned before with those box drills, it's really important to get the fundamentals down before you start getting really, really quick into it. So making sure the ball is on the ground, making sure you're checking your shoulder, opening up your body in the correct way, receiving the ball into space, and of course, releasing the ball into that final pass into the goal or into another player if that's what you're doing. Um, Charles and I had a fantastic session, got really good 1v1s going, which was awesome. I really miss doing those uh, consistently because they are really translatable into the more game realistic type situations in training and then of course in the game so uh, if you guys enjoyed this type of training content hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already as always be awesome take care i'll see you guys in the next video